Hey, it's just so Trish, and we are going to talk about history for this year's homeschool. So, hello, my friends. All right, I'm getting our plans. We're about two weeks in, and I'm finding things that don't work and what does work. So, I'm going to walk you through what I have, what I love, what I forecast and plan this year, and then also what problems I'm having. So, I am looking for some advice, and you'll see where I need it. Um, and I have an idea which by the time this video goes up, you'll pro I've probably already made a decision. So there's my beautiful girls. We have a new table on the porch. It's huge and it's on wheels so we can move and come back really, really easy. But I wanted you to see that before you see what the back of the rest of the porch looks like because that's just real life. Okay. So, hey friends, we are about two weeks into our homeschool and I would like to first tell you that I wish I was doing Vita this August but I don't even know when this will go up because the internet is not behaving so that means a trip to Walmart to get this video uploaded okay so first and foremost history this year so we are doing a focus of um, history and we're kind of trying to take in that one room schoolhouse method. It's not going so well. So for those that know, that don't know, um, we're in the midst of building a house. The kids and my husband and I, well, not as much as I probably should. I should help out more. But we're having, a, we're building our house. They are building the house. And so let me just tell you high school credits, carpentry is working. But um, it's kind of chaos, and we're still here, and they're much older, and we're getting ready to move probably by the middle of the year. So, trying to find the best way to method out our method, our methods, or whatever. I don't know what I'm even saying. So, history this year is actually based on Claritas. We are doing Claritas second cycle. If you are not familiar or haven't seen Claritas, there is a video that will someday end up up here or at the end of the video or more likely down in the notes. Um, it is a memory work style, a lot like CC, but easily implemented on your own. But what's really cool is they do four cycles just like Story of the World, which is really cool. And actually they combine into it. So Claritas actually pulls their history from their history sentences from Story of the World. That's really cool, right? Um, very cool. So that gave me this amazing, can I sit that here? Sorry, I know I'm gonna inch on your space. So I'm like, that would be great. I'm going to do Story of the World this year. And so far we haven't, we've been reading the book and I have these great pages. I haven't so much used the activity so far, but we're two weeks in, so not a big deal. But, oh, sorry for all the noise. I live in Florida. That's what it sounds like. Um, so, with Story of the World, it comes with reference books. The Usborne Internet Linked Encyclopedia of World History. Um, also, the Usborne Book of History. The Illustrated, Kingfisher Illustrated World History. Can I have that book real quick? I will not lose your pay place, please. She is not happy. And the Kingfisher History Encyclopedia. And so, trying to find a way to give instructions with that, because you know it's like not much more than that. I've created some, drafted some in, um, notebooking pages. Okay, I made these in Google Slide. I'm just telling you. I just put a header. I put an image of paper and I just went and grabbed images. I don't have them for share. They're not other because they're not done and I don't know if I will. But I'm gonna show you what I put together. I just made it pretty. I just made it really easy in Google Slides. So I made some notebooking pages. So like this is for chapter two and these are kind of the main headers in the story of the world. And then like I referenced those books I just showed you, those four books right here. And I just added pictures. Um, my idea was there's a lot of, and then I put the map at the end. 
um, there's a lot of questions in here and they're great questions and I haven't completely decided um, I just wish I just need a workbook I mean in all honesty and all seriously I just need a workbook for my kids to give them evidence of school you know so I'm trying to make one I don't know if this is really the best effort or the best one they're not quite Lottie is doing a fantastic job she just I just have her open the books she goes through the books she has all the references to what pages and she writes things just a couple of ideas about the Celts she listened to the story all is good it's great my son is not having an easy time it's loud here can you tell he is not having a very easy time in fact this is his you noticed it's not done so I don't know so here's question number one is it a girl thing and a boy thing or is it just the type of student they are you know is it gender related or is it just some kids are like that some kids are not my daughter the great amazing Lottie can handle very open-ended work like this she goes she reads she puts some notes she's content she's fine my son looks at me like and I don't know what you want from me my son just says I don't get it in all honesty he wants a textbook he wants a textbook at the end of the pages there you go so much so I've looked at um, life pack I've looked back at ACE um, those little workbooks but I want that one room schoolhouse where we're all doing middle ages history somewhat so that he can happily listen in and it's all applicable he can um, doing the memory work it's all applicable those kind of things and granted there's a part of me he's eighth grade that I'm like I could just let him listen in and enjoy one last year of just kind of coasting through and really hit it hard through high school so I haven't figured that out so question number one is do you do you think like it's just the type of students or do you find like girls tend to be okay with not so much direction and boys don't I think that'd be a perfect poly according to Kathy Duffy reviews you know perfect poly is the child that needs to know what to do and they do exactly that so I've been looking at him um, I'm contemplating um, so the things I'm contemplating is mystery of history just getting him that volume two of mystery of history he reads because I do like that heavy reading he reads and then he answers or does some activities but I actually don't think he wants to do any activities I think he just wants to answer questions so then my next thought was getting a textbook and I've been growing over the textbooks and trying to make sure if I find one well one there's not a lot of options for just straight out textbooks um, I have picked up a Holt high school textbook it wasn't a good fit um, so I'm looking at possibly a Becca I didn't like the BJU it was too graphic and too busy um, but I, I was looking at the Abeka one and getting him the seventh grade Abeka world history and kind of skipping the first unit because you can see the table of contents and putting um, just jumping into medieval and just having him go from there. So I'm contemplating that and he could still just listen to story of the world and he can do his memory work and it will be great. So then there's a high schooler in my life. Dear high schooler, where is the book? The the, the history book your, where's your reading history book oh she has it so I thought it would be amazing to pair up as we did story of the world she could do the history of the medieval world by also Susan Bauer so I thought this would work out perfectly she could listen into story of the world or read the story of the world because I mean she'll sit down and read in a couple sittings and then she could get really meaty in here. And when I say meaty, here is the study guide. Before you get scared, okay, here's the study guide. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. 
there's only part of this book is for them. So this half is for her. This half's for me. It's pretty in depth. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It is serious consumption here. Um, I don't know about, I, I haven't, I haven't felt the need to just, I, maybe <laughs> grandma honked her horn. Maybe it would be good. You know, you're supposed to be writing sentences. So this kind of almost, it's not a workbook because you're supposed to answer questions that there's not enough space in. So it's almost an entirely different text. I don't really understand why they set the books up. Sometimes I feel like they're, this is going in a totally different direction. I'm sorry. But sometimes I feel like they set books up to make it easy to mail to us, but not easy to use for us. So it says it has, you know, study questions, critical thinking, you know, map exercises. And then the front is literally that version filled all in. I mean, this thing is huge. So I don't give this to her. Um, it's nice that they're separated. I really wish they would have done that for um, Story of the World and had a separate section that you could hand out or photocopy, but they don't. So that it's good that they did that but it's a little overwhelming. This is on Audible. You can use a credit to get it. I highly recommend it. But let me tell you, it is seriously thick with fact after facts after facts. I mean, it is somewhat overwhelming. It is so in depth. So she has been reading this. She's fixing to kind of jump into um, listening to it on Audible also so in the meantime so she's reading this book she's reading this book plus other little books like um you know the death of king arthur and so it's just like this collectedness of books that as she finds things she found an old book about the barbarians so you don't have to get it don't worry about it um, the Barbarians, and so she started reading that book. And so I've been making kind of this list of books. She started listening to Jacob Abbott. I think if you have been with me a long time ago, for a long time, I have done discussions, especially when we're doing a lot of Robinson style about um, Jacob Abbott. He's one of my favorite authors, 1901. Um, he has a whole set of books, um, a series called Rollo, R-O-L-L-O. And his name is Jacob, Jacob Abbott, A-B-B-O-T. Anyway, so he has, we've always loved his books. And he has a series of really just history books. So she started listening on LibroVox, which is free. She listened to... Um, the Life of Julius Caesar. No, The History of Julius Caesar. So she listened to that one on audio. So it's connecting dots. So she's doing this great layering well we're in high school some of y'all are gonna be like wait a minute we're in high school and I'm not really giving her much direction and she's not keeping track of what she's doing and I'm a little decision fatigued out and so she is just kind of exploring history so I'm like I have to have evidence of work evidence of work and I haven't figured that part out I don't know if I'm just gonna rip it out of this crazy book and then she's gonna just answer some of them I don't know if I'm just going to buy a textbook she opens it and reads the question number number one she's the child who loves to read immensely but she's also the child that doesn't want to be assigned work. And when she's assigned work, she doesn't want to do it. Can you see where I'm going here? She doesn't want to do it. So I'm somewhere between letting her read, keep reading, and then all I do is I just grab the pages out of here. Oh, they are perforated, so I can just rip them out. Do I pull them out of there? Or do I just find a textbook for her and hand it to her? Because in all honesty, we are so to the top. So that's my next question. What would you do? Um, 
to keep your life easy because so like as I said we're building the house look I just messed up my curl can you believe I got a perm anyway we're building the house sometimes we work three days a week and then we have the other four for homeschooling and they're tired and I and I just am like I'm a little bit at the moment like life packs good enough just do the history of life pack would good but I know that that would bore them very quickly and it would have that kind of feeling that they don't want to deal with. Um, when I talk to you about how we're doing science and how I pick science, you're going to find out we're using a textbook. We're actually, and we're using a secular textbook. And that textbook, and let me tell you, I, I've gone through several textbooks to find the textbook I wanted that fit us right. And that textbook has made it a lot easier for us to progress. And so it has me going, do we get a textbook? So on that, I've looked at textbooks. And so far, the only one that looks pretty decent to me is the, um, the Abeka grade 10 textbook. Even though she's going to ninth grade, I think she'd be fine. Um, the grade 10 book. So I'm looking at that option also. So yeah, those are my questions. That's what we're doing for history. As for my little people, you know, they're drawing maps, they're coloring the pages, they're listening, and that's it. There's nothing beyond it. We do our memory work through um, Claritas, and we're good. So that's all it is. That's what we do. Um, I'm going to put links to a lot of these things I've talked about. I've even you know, gone in and looked at Susan Bauer's The Well-Trained Mind. I appreciate the effort and time she put into it, but I will not lie. I can get overwhelmed by her suggestions, and I'm glad she did a summary, but it's still very in-depth. So finding that way that my kids, and that's the other part too. My kids need to be, they want that, what do you want me to do? And I haven't figured out how not to get exhausted by saying here's the next thing to do here's the next thing to do I need to keep it easy but not bland and I do love the books the reference books that she used for story of the world and I appreciate the fact that you know it's just four books I don't have to chase down other ones and I love the fact that she gives additional reading is really a big factor so again tell me what you think what are you using for history? Are you trying to do a one-room schoolhouse like me? Oh my goodness, why is this crazy enough to do? Is this the right thing to do? What are you using for history? Are you doing a theme base? Are you doing it at different levels? How many do you have in which level? Are you trying to group them up? Am I trying to do something to take on the world? And you know, our hist our, and honestly, and I was just talking to another homeschool mom that is done, and she's from way back before social media, and she's, you know, our homeschools don't have to look like it's always encouraging to see what everybody else is doing but never feel like you're doing it wrong and I don't feel like I'm doing it wrong I'm just trying to find a little bit more mom easy <sighs> without spending an arm and a leg to get there so I'm gonna talk to you soon and we got this I'll talk to you then bye